So this next video goes through the basics of applying a bow ditch adjustment. Um, we don't recommend that they're always applied, but if a customer wants to use one, then this covers the basics of it. So one of the disadvantages of using a least squares adjustment is many people find it a little bit more difficult to get a feeling for the overall accuracy of the of the control network. Um, many people that use a bow ditch adjustment they know roughly the ratio that they're looking to achieve. So it might be one in 50,000. It's a suitable um, specification for a good traverse. So there's nothing to stop us running a traverse um, in Trimble Business Center. Um, we'll still get the same ratio statistics that people are used to. The advantage of running a bowditch at this stage is we're no longer just relying purely on the RTK values for our opening stations and our closing stations. Um, we're relying on, we're actually using uh, fully adjusted coordinates for our, for our starting and closing points. We could of course apply the traverse before we've done the least squares adjustment. I would argue that you want to apply the, the or look at the traverse adjustment after you've done the least squares adjustment. So I'm just gonna give this traverse a name. I'm going to create it. We'll start in station two. We'll route through all the way through to station six. So essentially here, we can see it summarized here as well. We're setting up station two, backside in station one, traversing all the way through, finishing in station six with our foresight onto station seven. Before we actually apply to get coordinates here, we can look at our preview results. And we can see that there is, it's not a great traverse, one in 4,000. Um, realistically, that's not great, but of course it's only a 200 meter long traverse. Um, the, the traverse I have run before we've done the least squares adjustment, and it comes out at one in 2,000 traverse. So we're getting a better traverse adjustment with the, the updated coordinates for the opening and closing stations. Um, so it's, it certainly merits doing the least squares adjustment first. If we apply a least squares adjustment, then it becomes a one in 200,000 traverse. So we just hit apply there. And we now have uh, traverse adjusted coordinates. If we want a traverse adjustment report, we just hit the report tab here and it'll give us a nice traverse adjustment report. The final coordinates that are used by TVC, however, will be the least squares adjusted values by default. So we can see the traverse adjusted report here with a picture of the traverse, a diagram of the traverse. So if I jump back here to my plan view, and if I just close my traverse adjusted values, and if I look at station one, so I'm gonna go right up to the project explorer, up to the points section and find st uh, station three, we'll have a look at what's actually been used. So there's a hierarchy that's been used within Trimble Business Center. So we see that station three, the coordinates are actually been used. If I click in it, just double click in it, or this value here, five, six, two, and 271, which are actually the least squared adjusted uh, coordinates. Um, they are not the traverse adjusted coordinates. When I see the traverse adjusted coordinates, we can see here it's 555 and 271, whereas the coordinates are being used, um, they're actually seven mil different. They're the actual least squares adjusted values. So we can see, we can compare the two coordinates here, but by default, TBC favors um, the least squares adjusted values. So once we've got our control um, sorted, then we can move on to the next stage, which may be um, applying our topographic survey um, process, um, topographic survey, line work, and contouring, and so on. But we'll close this uh, section of the video now.